All right, you know what time it is. Y'all know I geek out on bamboo a little bit. I think I've got 28 varieties on my farm. Um, I could thank my good buddy Andy Firk for kind of opening up my world and turning me on to bamboo. I know everybody's really excited. You can tell Ian's over here, can't oh, yeah. control himself. <laughs> Trey's <laughs> jumping up and down in the back seat. She's just totally freaking out. So everybody's just losing control. Hold tight. <laughs> Welcome to Tropical Bamboo. What's your name? My name's Sam Hudon. I'm the nursery manager here. Very nice, mm -hmm. Sam. How long you been here? Um, only four months. Four months? Yeah, new job, but I love it. Cool. Yeah. So you're learning the new varieties by the day? Yep, yep. I've gone to school for horticulture, so uh, I'm on board for it. Didn't learn anything about bamboo, but learning every day. Oh, <laughs> look at you. You yeah. are learning, studying as yeah. you work. That is awesome. Yeah. So how long has this place been here? Um, since 2002, so a couple years. Cool. Pretty established. Mm -hmm. Roughly, you know how many varieties of bamboo you all carry? Um, a little bit over 200 varieties. Over yeah. 200. And yeah. what, where, what's your main business? Is it selling commercial or wholesale? Yeah, it'd be mostly to landscapers. Um, we do get a good amount of online sales and collectors as well. Very yeah. nice. So what do you think? It's like a wall of bamboo. Is this a maze? I think it is. We're going up. Wow, look at that rainbow eucalyptus. Sadly, you know, bamboo has a little bit of a bad reputation. A lot of people think that it's gonna run, take over your backyard. They're not gonna become invasive. The roots can definitely suck an area dry, but for the most part, you don't have to worry about these taking over acres and acres of land. So it's pretty sad that bamboo's gotten this reputation and so many people are scared of it, but it's just because the knowledge is not really put out there. Another rainbow eucalyptus. Oh, Bambusa eminensis. Standard form. It's a pretty clumper. place is breathtaking. Whoa! Holy smokes, this is a bamboo shoot. Look at this thing. That is a stud of a new shoot. Those canes are every bit of six inches on this one. Let's see if we can get us a tag. Giant bamboo quail clone. This is a Dendrocalamus giganteus. So I am growing this at my farm. All the way up north of Tampa. I don't know if it's ever going to get this big. It already has gotten set back in some of these cold winters that we've had. But this is an exposed area of the farm. Oh, bamboo Nana. So I just got this one. This one's supposed to have some really good edible shoots. 
from Thailand. Really clean, nice bamboo. I really like how there's no bottom growth on them. I don't know if they're pruning them off of there or just that variety does not get the bottom growth. Tight clumper though. Dendrocalamus latiforus, Dendrocalamus dolly, Bambusa textilis, triple hybrid. Whoa! This is really cool. Look at the variegation. Oh, here's the Dendrocalamus asper. This one has a delicious edible shoot. I read about this one in Eric Tonesmeyer's Perennial Vegetable Book, and this is one of his top rated edible shoot bamboos. We have at least six or seven of this variety growing at my farm. These are all in the understory, and that's a new shoot. Look at this new shoot. You can see it finishes off right here. I'll shake it so you can see. I'm pretty sure this is a 90 to 120 foot clumper. So this one gets really tall. Wow, I've never heard of this variety. I couldn't even begin to try to pronounce it. Sino, oh, so it's a Sino Bambusa toot stick, toot stick. Hmm. Very skinny variety. Oh, it has a variegation to it too. Check it out. Look at this black. Is this the one you touched, Trey? So this one, I believe, gets these little glockids that are like fiberglass. Oh, this, oh, this one's bad too. Oh, no. oh, this one's really bad. That's what I was saying. I asked you if you touched this one. So this is a giant Ochola. I'm not even gonna begin to try. I know that's a black bamboo. Giantola. Oh, I think I have this variety. This is probably what, Asian lemon? Tell me I get one of them right here today or lemon? lemon bamboo. It is Asian lemon, all right. Bambusa eminensis. Okay, we planted this at Penny and Dan's, Yinglang bamboo. Mm -hmm. It gets these neat little yellow lines in it. Like a yeah, it's almost variegated, but not like truly variegated. It's that yin yang. Uh-oh, monastery bamboo. What is this, a Thytostachys seminensis? I can't even say that. I've only heard Andy say it. Really cool looking. I mean, look at this. Can't even stick my hand past here. I mean, y'all, y'all know what's up. Like, if you plant this at your house, I don't even think a tank can drive through this once it's established. I mean, talk about a windbreak, privacy break wall I mean you know people put up fences that's what this stuff could do so you know I love bamboo such a multi-species chungii so chungii court please do not touch the bamboo canes yes it rubs off so I believe he's talking about that white that's on these canes you can see this one has a little bit of a white texture on it oh. so this is that blue bamboo we have this one growing at the farm we are growing this one we are even selling this one I grow about 10 varieties of bamboo up at Sand Hill Farm for resale, and then I have about 28 different varieties growing. Whoa! This is the Asper again. This is the variety my crazy butt planted at my farm. So when you see it like this, it kind of makes you think like, oh my God, did I plant that? But it is what it is. I think the cold will keep it in check up by me. Hopefully it never gets this big. If it does, it's sure gonna look pretty cool. I put it in around one of my little ponds in the center of the farm, so. We'll see what it happens. But this is Dendrocalamus asper. 
black asper bamboo. So I don't have the black variety. I have the other one that we saw on the other side. But I mean, look at this. Look at the size of these canes. Talk about a building material. Whoa, so what do we got, a bridge? The story of the bridge. So it looks like FAU actually built this bridge as part of a workshop. Mm -hmm.